الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد ولا عليه وصحبه وسلم ما بعد يا لحبت في الله how do we deal with the fitna that has spread between ahl sunnati wal jamaa meaning between the salafiyin between those individuals or du'at or ulama who call to kitab Allah wa sunnah to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam when they differ with one another, how should we deal with that? Especially as lay persons. So we need some tools in order to deal with the fitna. And one of the tools in which we can deal with this fitna first and foremost is ilm, is knowledge because knowledge will give you the tools to be able to distinguish between haq and batil so for example if you have two scholars or two students of knowledge that speak and refute one another if you have knowledge you have some of the tools you're able to discern whose speech is more correct, whose speech is more in accordance with the adilat al-shari'iyah, with the Qur'an and the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, what is sharia-based evidence? But this only comes with ilm. And if we don't have ilm, we need to go to the next level in order to discern this, discern the, the fitna and how to deal with this. How do we deal with this breakdown in brotherhood? This one is uh, uh, calling this one a mubtadi'a. This one is made takfir of this one. This one has uh, said don't listen to his tapes or his or books or what have you. How do we discern? If we don't have those tools, then we need to go to the next level, which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitab al-kareem, فَأَسَلْ أَهْلِ ذِكْرِ إِن كُنْتُمْ لَا تَعْلَمُونَ إِن كُنْتُمْ لَا تَعْلَمُونَ that ask the people of knowledge if you don't know. So if you're in a position to go to the scholars, you have the Arabic language or those scholars that have no English language, then that is what you need to do, is find a solution by asking the people of knowledge, those people who know and understand Kitabullah, was Sunnah to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, according to the understanding of the Salaf of this Ummah, and they have the tools and the knowledge and the hikmah and the wisdom on how to deal with these affairs. So that would be the second stage in which we would need to fall back on if we don't have the tools ourselves to be able to discern which where the truth lies. And the third level of habitifillah after that is making dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, supplicating to your Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that doesn't mean that these things, that this is the order necessarily, because of course all the time you're required to supplicate to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Inna ladini yastakhbiruna an ibadati fasayyidkhuluna jahannam dakhirin. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, verily those who who are arrogant in calling upon me, you know, supplicating to me, then they will enter the hellfire humiliated. So therefore, Habitifillah supplicated and rely on your Lord so that you find contentment in your heart about where the truth lies. Allah doesn't abandon his servants. The Prophet ﷺ said, that if you seek assistance, then seek it from Allah. The Prophet ﷺ said, ibadah, that supplication is ibadah, it is worship. So by supplicating to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, putting all your affairs with your Lord, your Lord will guide you to the truth. Because we live in a time of great fitna and chaos and it will increase. Don't think that now you may have scholars that you love, but in the very near future, some of those very scholars that are well known from Ahl Sunnah may refute one another. 
and not just refute one another on issues in ilm, but actually refute one another and speak about one another's uh, ability to teach and istiqama, uprightness, and their adherence to the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And this has happened countless times. We've seen many, many ulama of Ahl sunnah and this is from the ulama. So what about the students of knowledge, of course, and the du'a that we have in the West and so forth? They make tabdir of one another like it's like they're drinking water and milk with dates. So it shows us the importance of habitifillah to adhere to those principles and rely upon your Lord for guidance. And don't be quick to make takfir or tibdir of someone else or tafsiq because those are Sharia principles as uh, the ulama from before have said and Sheikh Abdul Aziz al-Rajihi and many ulama have said this but I recall this distinctly from the Sheikh in one of his treatises. So it's very important for us to habit tifillah, rely on your Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala, seek knowledge so you can discern haqq uh, from batil and establish relationships with the ulama of Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Nabiina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.